around at 686 this morning. So off its best levels of 685, but still looking pretty strong. And it looks like the, the momentum is to the downside at this point. Good morning, Stephen. Yes, it does indeed seem as though the Rand uh, bulls have got uh, the bit between their teeth. And uh, I think there's a lot of talk now that we could move down to kind of the 675 uh, uh, region uh, in the short term. And it's really on the back of uh, a number of factors. I think we've obviously had have a weak dollar environment. Uh, precious metals and commodity prices in general are high. That's supporting the currency. And uh, then, of course, uh, there's also the feeling that the Reserve Bank is probably not going to be an aggressive accumulator of reserves at this stage, given the, the inflationary consequences of uh, these high oil prices. So uh, all in all, I think uh, the market is, is, is still quite rand bullish, and it's, it's difficult to go against this trend in the short term. Well, we've got the ECB meeting this afternoon, and ahead of that meeting, we had the, the euro heading towards that 139 level against the dollar. And although the ECB, I think, is not expected to raise interest rates today, we're going to be watching this statement very carefully. Do you think this could lead to a turn in the euro's fortunes and the rands as well? Yeah, I think this meeting is actually quite pivotal because uh, one of the reasons we believe that the the dollar has been so weak is because these higher oil prices are raising fears that the, the ECB not, might need to hike rates sooner rather than later. At the moment, we still feel that the ECB is going to raise its rates before the Fed, uh, but only towards the end of this year. Of course, if the ECB comes out this afternoon with a very hawkish statement, um, then it's going to probably give uh, the euro bulls even more to shout about and uh, we could drive high because that 138 139 area has been quite sticky and this might just give them the green light to to push to to kind of higher levels alternatively of course if the ecb comes out with a more dovish uh, statement then we could actually see some of those euro bulls taking profits and, and we could see a bit of a pullback given that market position at the moment you would assume it is pretty long euros at the moment well, ahead of that ECB rates decision, we're also getting second, uh, sorry, fourth quarter GDP numbers out of the European Union. 0.3% uh, was the initial estimate. We know that the US fourth quarter GDP was revised downwards. What's your expectation for the European Union? Yeah, you know, there it's, we're expecting uh, a bit more growth coming really from uh, kind of the delayed reaction of uh, you know, the, the weaker euro that we saw uh, last year and, and, and the year before that, and, and that probably will bolster some of the exports, particularly out of countries like Germany and what have you. But, you know, if growth, again, is, is on the soft side relative to the US and the ECB comes out uh, with a, a dovish statement, then perhaps we could see a, a bit of a, a pullback in, in this euro dollar. But other than that, if the number surprises to the upside, um, as I say, I think this euro then will head higher. Uh, Michael, a quick comment on our vehicle sales numbers for February out yesterday. They looked pretty positive. Pretty po positive, Steve, and, and I think, you know, it just bodes well for the, the consumer-orientated recovery that government as well as ourselves are expecting. Uh, investment expenditure remains pretty much on the back burner for the, for the most part. And, but uh, at the moment, we, uh, we're hoping to see the consumer really uh, drive this uh, recovery in South Africa. And those vehicle sales definitely uh, allude to such, a, uh, such an outlook. Well, head of non-farm payroll numbers out of the U.S. Tomorrow we had the ADP report yesterday. Private sector adding 217,000 jobs in February. But if we think back to the previous two uh, numbers uh, for non-farm payrolls, they didn't necessarily follow suit. Yeah, there is often some inconsistencies between the two readings. Um, I think, though, that, you know, again, this ECB meeting today is going to be more pivotal than uh, non-farm payrolls and the employment figures. You're not to say that those numbers aren't important. They always are. But, you know, we've seen some encouraging data out of the States, and yet the dollar has still remained under pressure. And it's because of these hawkish uh, interest rate expectations out of Europe. And, and I think that's really the key at the moment. That's what's going to turn this euro dollar around. If we have a, a hawkish uh, statement, that's going to drive the euro higher and probably uh, overshadow uh, the employment figures that we see out of the States this week.